Okay. <clears throat> All right, so today's topic is going to be talking about the narcissist's intent. Uh, this came from a comment that came in the uh, community tab the other day. And let me see if I can pull it up. It may or may not pull up. There it goes. Julia said, talk about the narcissist intent, please. And this is an actually a reoccurring topic that comes up a lot. And I can actually relate to this because I struggled with this myself whenever I was trying to figure out their, her intent, their intent. What, what exactly are they trying to accomplish? And you can rack your brain driving yourself crazy trying to figure that one out. Because you, you can't just rationalize the whole thing. And I'm going to talk about this in a, in a couple of different ways. But, and I'll get to the, to the meat of it in a minute. But when you're first struggling with this, you're constantly, constantly asking yourself, why? Why would this person do this? What, there has to be a reason. Nobody does these things just because. And the thing you have to be careful about on that is getting wrapped up in that because what happens is, is you really start to, I don't know why this is locked, you really start to get to the point where you start driving yourself crazy. I can recall thinking the exact same things. Why is this becoming so difficult? What, there has to be a reason. What did I do that was so bad that caused this horrific outcome to, uh, to come up? And the thing on this is you, well, like I said, you, you, you try to rationalize it you try to rationalize the unrational. So you, you make excuses for it. You, you say it's because friends are telling them, giving them bad advice, or they're taking something out of context, or they don't understand the process, or whatever, whatever the reason is. And, and I see a few comments coming in. Uh, Kootenai's mom says, because they want, uh, want to see us suffer, uh, because they want to uh, break you on purpose. And I, and I honestly think it's a little bit more simpler than that. The, one of the things is, is that you, know, you, you have to remember that somebody with strong narcissistic traits typically as a result of the trauma that resulted in this condition, typically what happens is, is they get stuck at a particular emotional age. Think of it this way. Now, for us that have kids, I'm sure you can think back at the time whenever your child was younger, maybe early adolescent or whatever, and their reasoning skills just aren't really there. Now imagine taking that mentality of that, you know, eight-year-old, you know, little human, putting them in the body of a 38-year-old or 40-year-old, 27-year-old, whatever, but putting that mentality in an adult body that now has the power of law enforcement, the power of the family court, and the reasoning skills of a toddler. It's a really dangerous combination, but it really boils down to that simple because they only think about themselves. They don't have the cognitive ability to really think about what they're doing, how it affects other people, and absolutely no ability to understand how it would affect their child. And Michael says... Fuel, absolutely. Um, but it's it, but it's it's less complicated, in my opinion, than we really think. Because 
th- here's the, the flip side to it. If you have a long, young child who acts like this, <laughs> depending on their size, you throw them over your shoulder, you take them to their room, you say, you're staying in your room until you calm down, or you're grounded until X amount of time, and you shut the door. The problem is, is you can't, okay, the problem is you can't do that with an adult. Conversely, think of it this way. Oftentimes we get into the situation where we try to write, to write a reason with them. Now imagine trying to reason with a toddler, trying to explain to them why, you know, what they're doing is wrong without, and without having the ability to have some type of control over them as in, you know, in uh, a cause and effect, you're in a horrible mess. And and I can see Lyle says, I tried that with my ex. Um, MFA says, uh, I'll post this one, says we are food to them, positive supply, negative supply, someone to complain about, brag about, take your pick. And think about it. Think about how a lot of, you know, even teens, they get so wrapped up in the drama. They don't even know what's really important. Again, see how that correlates to the behavior of more than likely the narcissistic person in your life. It's, they, they don't have the reasoning abilities to, to really do this. And it, it sets up a scenario or sets up a situation that will drive the person who's trying to operate in this environment crazy. Because it is crazy making. Because you think you're dealing with an adult. Because the entire time up till this disaster manifested manifested itself you thought you were dealing with a rational adult human being even if you fundamentally eh, probably knew that something wasn't quite right you still didn't ever think about having to deal with this i would i would even guess That if you knew other people who had gone through toxic relationships, toxic divorces, you probably could look at that and go, holy crap, that's, that is insane what is happening over there in Billy and Susie's relationship, but you never correlated it happening with you. And I'll even say that, you know, I, I definitely fell into that white knight category. My, my ex, when we first started dating, told me about all the horrible boyfriends that she'd had before, how they disrespected her. They treated her badly. And she was just the de- poor defenseless little butterfly, poor little victim in this story that was just misunderstood and abused over and over again. And, and it wasn't until my situ, you know, the, the relationship fell apart. We were separated, getting ready to go through the divorce process where I had that epiphany that, oh my God, I'm the next version of the story. Even though I was with her for 20 years, I'm like, oh my God, I'm, that's me now. Now I'm the jerk. I'm the, I'm the meanie. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the, uh, the, the horrible person that just treated her wrong. And, and it's really, it's, it's, it's really tough. So, you know, getting, getting back, let me pop this back up. When you, when you get back into this particular question is talking about the narcissist intent, we give them so much more credit for being smarter, more intelligent, more strategic. And the reality is, is it's all about them and it's all at the mentality of, of whatever maturity level that they stopped at. And the, the really frustrating part about that is until you get that, and, I, and let me ask the question for the people who, who are watching this right now, how many people were driving themselves crazy trying to understand, just give me a one if, if, you, if you agree with this, trying to understand 
what the person was doing. It's like, how in the world are we in this situation where this is my life and these things are happening right now? I'm going to look and see what some of the other people are, are saying. Oh, this is interesting. Lyle says, sometimes life gives you a bad hand. I think of all the women I could have married. I was just chatting with somebody about that the other day. Okay, cool. I'm seeing a bunch of ones. I, so, I, and I, I really think, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Frugal. Fr <laughs> I have such a hard time with Frugal Fugal. That just drives me crazy. Carol, Rob, Ann M, Kootenai, Jamie, Matt, done with that too. Uh, Lyle says one I still don't understand. It, it's, it's incredibly tough. And it's one of those things that, uh, I think it was an excellent question that, that Julia posed because I know it's one that a lot of people, especially in the early parts of this go through. And let me just, before we, before we move on to this and we'll jump into other questions and stuff, and then I'll pull this part out as a separate video, but I, I it's important to understand this because you will drive yourself crazy trying to figure out why. One, one additional little story I'll tell you is I remember at one point when I was, before I knew, before I had a, before I knew about NPD, cluster B and all those things, I remember having a conversation with my ex and I'm like, what happened? How did we get here? How did we go from 20 plus years of marriage to this catastrophe? And the answer that came back is, well, we both got bad advice. We both got bad advice. And I was just like, what? what? And there were so many times where it would, I just, I would sit there day after day, you know, hour after hour, trying to, to, to just play back in my head, back on this, what is the intent? What's the reason? Why is this happening? And guys, the reality is the answer, the answer is simple. You're dealing with a toddler who doesn't have the reasoning abilities to focus on anything other than themselves. And I'm not trying look, and I'm not trying to be like, you know, we're all the poor victims and you know, whatever. But I mean, the the, the reality of it is, is if you if until you realize that until you accept that, you are stuck. 